I'd like you to know that I was voted senior class of 2001's most friendly guy. So, I think we'd all agree that that makes me the ultimate authority on what it takes to make friends. Hey, I'm Lucas Kitchen, and welcome to episode 8 of Salvation and Discipleship. In this episode, we're going to talk about the difference between being a child of God and being a friend of God. If you've got your study guide, which you can get at simplybelief.com slash grow, you'll notice that the topic number eight says child of God under salvation and friend of God under discipleship. And so, first of all, we need an understanding of what it means to be a child of God. If you want a more in-depth look, you can see the previous two episodes, but let's review very quickly what it means to be a child of God. John 1.12 says this, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Being a child of God is a synonym for having salvation. For all those who believe in the name of Jesus for everlasting life, they have it. And that is a relationship that can never be broken. It's a one-time event. So, the question arises then, what does it mean to be a friend of God? I mean, it seems like God's probably a pretty friendly guy, right? Doesn't he just make friends with everybody? Well, in reality, we have a very clear answer to this question. So we don't have to guess. Jesus tells us what it takes to be the friend of God in John 15, 14 through 15. Let's take a look at that. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all things that I heard from my Father I have made known to you. So what we find here is that there are conditions for friendship with Jesus and with God. And isn't that the way the world works anyway? You wouldn't be friends with somebody who always was punching you on the nose, would you? Well, God's the same way in this sense. He's friends with those who obey Jesus. And so friendship with God is not a synonym for salvation, but it could be considered to be a synonym for discipleship. So all those who obey Jesus can rightly be called his friends and therefore friends of God. This is actually not the only place in the Bible that it talks about being a friend of God. In fact, James 4.4 mentions it. Let's take a look there. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever, therefore, wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. So what we find out in this verse is that believers can actually be enemies of God. Now, that doesn't mean that they've lost their salvation. Far from it. Their salvation is a done deal because they're already children of God, a relationship that can't be broken. However, they can be at enmity with God if they pursue sin. Now, you may be saying, well, wait a minute. How do we know that these are believers? Well, actually, the next verse tells us very clearly that we're talking about those who the Spirit dwells within them. Or do you think that the Scriptures say in vain, the Spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy. So who has the Spirit in them? Well, believers have the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of them. And in fact, Jesus told his disciples that he would give them the Spirit and the Spirit would never leave. It very clearly says that the Spirit dwells within, but that it's jealous. So what does that mean? That means that the Spirit who lives in all believers, the Holy Spirit, is jealous when that believer pursues sin instead of pursuing obedience to Christ. And when that believer, who has the Spirit in him, pursues sin instead of obedience, it makes the Spirit grieve, as it says in another place in here, jealous. And so this is a very similar image to the way that you might feel jealous when your best friend finds a new best friend. And so in this way, it tells us that the Spirit of God feels that way when we make friends with the world or friends with sin instead of making friends with Him. So, being a child of God is an inalienable relationship that can never be broken, but being a friend of God is a dynamic relationship that's based on our obedience. So, being a child of God is about salvation. Being a friend of God is about discipleship. 
If you'd like to go deeper on this subject, I'd encourage you to get a copy of my book, Salvation and Discipleship, Is There a Difference? Also, we have a workbook that you've seen in previous videos. And finally, go to simplybelief.com slash grow to make sure that you're subscribed to this Bible study so that you can get notifications for new studies. Well, I appreciate you watching, and I consider all of you who look at this my friends. I'll see you in episode nine.